Greetings from Hilton Head, South Carolina. We are currently on site and working at our business in South Carolina this week, the Hilton Head Escape Room. Right now we're installing a brand new room and getting some things ready for springtime. If you ever visit the island, drop in and see us for some family fun. So, ARC Invest is starting a space exploration ETF and we are so pumped about it. How exciting and promising is that investing frontier, huh? You might even say that the sky is the limit. In this video today, we're going to be briefly looking at 10 companies that ARC may be buying to fill this brand new space ETF. If we can invest in these companies early, hopefully we can enjoy the ride up until we can all just buy some ARC X. This is the Moonshot Money Channel. I'm Chase Vickers. Are you ready? Let's go. We are also over on Twitter posting most days about what we see as exciting and interesting. Follow us at Moonshot Money One so you don't miss anything in between videos. The already existing UFO ETF tracks the S Network Space Index, which focuses on companies that are significantly engaged in space related activities. That index spans multiple industries, including satellite based consumer products and services rocket and satellite manufacturing, space technology hardware, and space-based imagery and intelligence services. ARCX will focus on companies that are leading, enabling, or benefiting from technologically enabled products and or services that occur beyond the surface of the Earth. Star Trek kind of stuff, huh? Can I just add here that the newly instituted Armed Services Military Branch Space Force makes this an even more explosive opportunity. There will be hundreds of billions, if not trillions of dollars worth of government purchases in the next decade. ARC divided the space industry into four categories. One, orbital aerospace. Two, suborbital aerospace. Number three, enabling technologies. And four, aerospace beneficiary. Orbital aerospace companies are companies that launch, make, service, or operate platforms in the orbital space, including satellites, and launch vehicles. Suborbital aerospace companies are companies that launch, make, service, or operate platforms in the suborbital space, including drones, air taxis, and electric aviation vehicles. Enabling technology companies are companies that create the technologies required for successful value-add aerospace operations, including artificial intelligence, robotics, 3D printing, materials, and energy storage. Aerospace beneficiary companies are companies that stand to benefit from aerospace activities, including agriculture, internet access, global positioning system, or GPS, construction, and imaging. So, here we go. What are some companies that shine the brightest in these categories? Number one, Maxar Technologies, ticker symbol M-A-X-R. Maxar is an industry veteran that's been around since Neil Armstrong landed on the moon and they have a huge existing satellite network that is already rotating the Earth. The company will rely heavily on these incumbent advantages to grow with the booming space industry over the next 10 years. Its strengths include Earth intelligence and space infrastructure. Maxar has made a huge investment into 5G and autonomous driving technology that will propel big demand for their space tech solutions over the next few years. On the 5G front, Maxar's space infrastructure business will get a big boost as companies pour money into building out non-terrestrial 5G networks. Maxar stock is a solid, well-established, and well-rounded play in the space economy. Number two, none other than Virgin Galactic, ticker symbol SPCE. Virgin Galactic management continues to say that 2021 will be the year that they fly the company's chairman, Richard Branson, into space. We think that appears to be very doable. If it happens, it will be a huge step in the turning commercial space flight into a reality. Scaling the space tourism business could be a multi-billion dollar revenue business and hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars in profits. That's enough growth potential to make Virgin Galactic stock one for ARKX. All right, number three, Momentous. SPAC Stable Road Acquisition, ticker symbol SRAC. 
Momentous designs and manufacturers transfer vehicles, which enables all forms of cargo to move throughout space. These transfer vehicles help satellites, once detached from the main rocket, get into their final destination orbits, switch between orbits and return to a spaceship. Man, that's just some super cool stuff. Momentous is building technology to move stuff around in space. And as we're understanding it, they are the very best in the world. Their transfer vehicles function on a patented and proprietary water plasma propulsion system that is cheap and efficient. Thanks to this proprietary system, Momentus has been selected by SpaceX as its transfer vehicle vendor. Mind-blowing possibilities. If that doesn't get you excited, maybe you should just invest in candles or sweaters. All right. Number four on our list is Jalot Satellite Networks, ticker symbol G-I-L-T. According to the Market Beat profile, Jalot Satellite Networks provides satellite-based broadband communication solutions and services in Latin America, the Asia Pacific, North America, Europe, the Middle East, and in Africa. It operates throughout three segments, fixed networks, mobility solutions, and terrestrial infrastructure projects. The company designs and manufactures ground-based satellite communications equipment and provides solutions and end-to-end -end services. Jalot Satellite Network sells its products and solutions to communication service providers and operators, mobile network operators, telecommunication companies, and system integrators, as well as to the defense and homeland security organizations and directly to end users. There's so much more to this company, you should research it yourself. Number five on the list is Kratos Defense and Security Solutions, ticker symbol KTOS. MarketBeat says Kratos Defense and Security Solutions, Inc. provides mission critical products, solution, and services in the United States and internationally. The company operates in two segments, Kratos Government Solutions and Unmanned Systems. The Kratos Government Solutions segment offers microwave electronic products, space, training, and cybersecurity products, turbine technologies, and defense and rocket support services. The Unmanned Systems segment provides unmanned aerial systems and unmanned ground and seaborne systems. The company serves the Department of Defense, intelligence agencies, and other national and homeland security related agencies, local, state, and foreign governments and domestic and international commercial customers. Certainly, there will also be defense contractors in the ARC-X ETF. Northrop Grumman, NOC, Lockheed Martin, ticker LMT, and L3 Harris Technologies, ticker LHX. These are numbers six, seven, and eight. Read up on these and make your decision along with other great defense contractors. All right, number nine on the list is Nano Dimensions ticker symbol NNMD. Nano Dimension is a 3D electronics printing company to simplify things. Its flagship product is the proprietary Dragonfly Digital Manufacturing System, a precision system that produces professional multi-layer circuit boards, radio frequency antennas, and sensors. The company also provides nanotechnology-based conductive and dielectric inks as well as Dragonfly and Switch software to manage the design file and printing process. It markets and sells products and services to companies that develop products with electronic components, including companies in the defense, automotive, consumer electronics, semiconductor, aerospace, and medical industries as well as research institutes. If things progress like they are right now, space will one day consist of manufacturing shops just like we have here now. Things will need to be manufactured there and not always sent by rocket. Nano Dimension will be a major electronics player in the shops of space. All right, number 10 on our list is still a private company, but the potential for an IPO is certainly being talked about and the demand for the stock will be massive. I'm talking about Elon Musk's Starlink, the internet satellite company now owned by SpaceX. Starlink satellites are already orbiting the Earth and providing high-speed internet to paying customers. 
The satellite constellation will continue to be built out as SpaceX continues to deploy satellites until their global coverage with enough bandwidth to keep up with the global demand. Kathy will be buying Starlink as soon as it IPOs, and we will be too. There are over 30 stocks that we could have mentioned here in this video today, but we just wanted to give you a rough draft in the top 10 as we see it. You might also want to check out other great companies like Trimble, Iridium Communications, 3D Systems, Honeywell, Boeing, General Dynamics, and even Tesla. We are so pumped that ARK Invest is starting ARKX. We will be allocating money to buy shares when it becomes available. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter at MoonshotMoney1 for our updates. If you enjoy videos like this, press that like button. And if you want to see more videos just like this one, subscribe and turn on that bell notification. Earn more, save more, invest more, and give more. Always remember, if you're not interested in your money, someone else is. We'll see you next time.